Guess what I just did? I just opened up my awning. Y'all, it's been almost a year that I've had my home and I've never opened the awning. <laughs> I've always been kind of afraid to, but this particular site, let me show you, is literally in the sun's path. So <laughs> there's the sun and it's making the inside warm because I have my windows here. So open up the awning and it's cooler, you know, in there, even though I have the AC going, but it's also nice under here. So I think I'm gonna grab a popsicle and bring Jada Baby out so we can sit out for a bit in this spot in particular because it has all of the shade. <laughs> so one of the main questions I get asked is how can I afford this lifestyle? And if you're new here, <laughs> I'm Brittany. I am a 100% disabled Air Force veteran and I travel full time on the road with my fur baby Jada. Um, so with that, I do receive monthly compensation from the VA that includes my uh, insurance, vision, dental, all that jazz. And I basically live below my means. I also receive additional income via YouTube. My channel is Where Is Brittany, as well as doing collaborations with brands. My full situation is completely different from a lot of people that live this lifestyle, but one thing that ain't different is that you will need some form of income. A lot of people choose to do remote work. Uh, go ahead and do a Google search. See what jobs are out there that will allow you to work full time, remote from home, and let the job know your situation. That you wanna travel full time, get reliable internet, I use Starlink, and that works for me. There are seasonal work out there. People work three to six months out of the year, save up that money, and then travel, you know, during their off time, and <laughs> that works for them. You just really need to take some time and be honest with yourself. See why you want to get into this lifestyle. Is it to travel? Is it to save money? Are you running away from, you know, your life situation, whatever it may be? Because I will tell you, any issues you had prior to being on the road full time, those issues will still follow you. Your bills will still follow you. If you have um, internal like trauma, that stuff will still follow you on the road. So think about those things. And lastly, stop spending your money because if you want to live tiny, you really won't have a place for all of these things. That's one of the main things I've been preaching, you know, for a while. Stop spending your money on just wants versus needs and also spending your money on experiences. And that's pretty much it. So don't forget to follow if you want to hear more of my little random TED Talks. <laughs> Talk to y'all later.